Hey guys, today we're going to take the time to talk about one card and how I would go about brainstorming a deck for the card. Paradox Engine is a card I want to build around. It is a card that Modern has an infinite combo. And the infinite combo is Spout Swarm for one in the green. You will It has Convoke, which is useful. It has Buyback, which you're going to have to pay for. Uh, you get a 1-1 one, one green Sapoling creature token into play. And once that creature hits the play, once you play the spell, then all your non-land permanents you control on tap, including the creature, which then can be used to convoke the next spell. And you can do this infinite amount of times. Essentially, you're buying it back and you go infinity because you have the convoke ability. And a very cool modern combo, but this combo piece has existed for some time. Jeske Ascendancy and Intruder's Alarm also work with that card. So you do have redundancy if you want to make a ultimate combo deck. Modern 5 is a little expensive, but let's talk about standard. 5 is not too expensive in standard, especially for such a powerful ability. I feel like any type of combo, inf infinite combo, will need Crypto Rites. Uh, crypto Rite is 1 in the green. Enchantment creatures you control get tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Essentially, what you're going to do is you can play your entire hand out, which is great. And each time you play a spell, you know, you untap your non land permanents, then you play another spell using the land, your creatures. You can play out your hand quite easily, assuming you have enough mana to start with. And you can play out Paradox Engine faster. And that's why I like I like this a lot because the engine does not have to come out turn five or later. It can come out turn four. Ideally, it could come out even sooner than that, but it depends on what creatures you're using. So Paradox Engine, very good card. I like it a ton. It is a repeat ability. So Jeske Ascendancy, one of the better decks in Frontier, as well as a pseudo deck in Modern. It's not a bad deck in Modern. I don't know if I would call it tier one yet, but it's close. It all, it does the same thing as Jeske Ascendancy in terms of untapping. Now, for EDA's purposes, it's a little bit better because you're untapping all non-land permanents, which could be artifacts, it could be something else. But Jeske Ascendancy, for the purpose of that combo, has an entire deck built around it. And Paradox Engine could be Ascendancy 5 to 8, giving that combo 8 pieces to work around. It's also an artifact, which makes it easier to look. There are cards that can search up artifacts a lot easier. I like it. It makes a lot of sense to me as an additional. You know, if they have enchantment removal, or if they have some type of hate for what Jeske Ascendancy does, let's say removing multiple creatures, the Paradox Engine is another out for you. So Paradox Engine is also very similar to Intruder's Alarm, which is modern, which is modern playable. I feel like some type of deck is going to emerge and five is not too much. I don't know what the deck is going to look like. I'm assuming the deck will be very similar to both the Jeske Ascendancy deck and the tier two, 2.5 Intruder Alarm decks where you just play creatures, you untap creatures, you go infinite. Sounds like a good, sounds like a very fun deck to play with. I am very excited to brew around it. Leave me a comment below what combos you have come up with. I'm still thinking about the combos. I'm not exactly sure how to make it work in standard. I really want to make it work in standard because I feel like modern may be too fast for it right now. But in standard, 5 is not a big deal, especially if Crypto Rites brings, you, brings the card on turn 4 or even sooner. Anyway, bye guys.